I'm Anil Kumar. Here is a practice test question on slopes and tangents. The question is, for f of x equals to x square minus 4x plus 1, find coordinates of point A where x equals to 3, coordinates of point B where x equals to 5, the equation of secant AB, the equation of tangent at A, the equation of tangent at B. So there are many things which we are going to do in this question. However, you will understand all the concepts learned in this particular chapter. Now let's begin by finding coordinates of point A. So we are given x is equals to 3 at A. So that basically means find the value of the function when x is 3. So f of 3. So which is 3 square minus 4 times 3 plus 1, right? And you can always calculate this. Let me use calculator. Even if the calculations are simple, it's always good to use calculator, right? Minus 4 times 3. Now, at times, the calculator may not be allowed. That's a different story. So it's not a difficult calculation. We get minus 2, right? So the coordinates of point A will be, let me write here, coordinates of point A will be 3 minus 2, correct? Now, let's do similar operation for B. X value is 5. So this time we'll do 5 square minus 4 times 5 plus 1 equals 2, correct? So 5 square minus 4 times 5 plus 1 equals to 6. So that gives you 6. So the coordinates for point B is 5, 6. Now we need to find equation of secant AB. So when we have to find the equation of a secant line AB, we are given now the point A, which is 3 minus 2. We are also given the point P, which is 5, 6. Now we need to find slope from A to B, which we can find by change in Y. So it's a Y2 minus Y1 over change in X, X2 minus X1. Correct? So now let's do it. So you, we'll use this space for part C, and then D and E will do in the next page. So slope of the secant line AB is equal to 6 minus minus 2 divided by 5 minus 3, which is 6 plus 2 over, over 2, which is 8 over 2 or 4. Now, when slope is 4, we could write down the equation in the form of, uh, let us say, y equals to mx plus p, right? You could also use the form y minus y1 times, I mean, equals to m times x minus x1, right? So that will give you in standard form. I'll write down my answers in slope intercept form. Since we know that the slope is 4, we could write this as y equals to 4x plus b. And now, to find b, I'm going to use one of these points. So let's use 5 and 6. So we have y equals to, I'm sorry. Uh, okay, so we'll substitute instead of y. So let's say y equals to 6 and x equals to 5. So if I substitute this, I get 6 equals to 4 times 5 plus b or 6 equals to 20 plus b so that gives us the value of b as equal to 6 minus 20 or minus 14 correct and therefore the equation is y equals to m is 4 so we have 4x minus 14 correct so that becomes the equation of the secant line a, B. Now let's find equation of tangents at A and B. Right? So you'll also learn instantaneous rate of change. We'll follow the same method. So difference quotient is another method which can help you find slope of a tangent line. Correct? <clears throat> so in the previous section, we saw that the point A is let me write down. At x equals to 3, we found the value was minus 2. And point B, at 5, we found the value to be 6 for the given function. 
Now we need to find equation of tangent line at A and also at B. So when you are given two points, right, it is better to do general, right? So we'll follow difference quotient method. So using this method, we could write slope M as equal to F of X plus H minus F of X over H, where H is very, very less as compared to 1. Uh, those of you who have learned limits, for them, you can write limit, H approaches 0. Do you see that? So either one way is good enough. So I'm assuming that most calculus students have learned this concept of limits. So I'll follow that, correct? So I'll write down here slope m is equals to limit h approaches 0. When I say f x plus h, I have to replace x with x plus h, correct? So, so the first term here will be x plus h whole square minus 4 times x plus h plus 1. So this is my first term. Okay? Take away, add f of x. That means the whole equation as such, which is x squared minus 4x plus 1. Perfect. And everything is to be divided by h. So that is the difference quotient formula. Let's continue. So we have limit, h approaches 0. Now we'll expand this. So what do we have here? x squared plus 2xh plus h squared. Now this term will give us minus 4x minus 4h. Then we have plus 1. And then we'll take away x squared minus 4x plus 1 times everything. I mean, let's do like this. 1 over h, this h. Is it? Does it make sense to you? <clears throat> now, Always, always. These three terms will cancel. If they don't, you have made a mistake. So this cancels. Minus 4x cancels. 1 cancels. Do you see that? 1 minus 1 is 0. So you'll always remain with h as a common factor. So blindly you have to follow all this. If you don't get that, it means you made a mistake. So here h, h, h common, right? So we'll take h as common. We are left with 2x plus h minus 4 times 1 over h. Does it make sense to you? Perfect. Now next step, these will cancel. So now you can substitute h equals to 0. Earlier, substituting to 0 in denominator was not possible since you cannot divide by 0. That's the whole idea, right? So once you do all that, you factor out h from the numerator, cancel with the denominator, so you don't get a stage of 0 over 0, right? I hope you understand. So if I substitute at this stage h0, I'll get 0 over 0, which is not defined. Once I cancel, I can substitute, right? So now, limit h approaches 0 means this expression let me write again. We have this expression limit. h approaches 0 for 2x plus h minus 4. When h approaches 0, this term becomes 2x minus 4. Perfect. So slope at any point can now be found very easily. Right? So let's do it one by one. First for a, find equation of tangent lines. So so we'll find first slope m at a. a means x is equals to 3, right? a means x equals to 3. So I'll substitute 3 here. So we get 2 times 3 minus 4, which is 6 minus 4, which is 2. Now if slope is 2, I can always write equation of tangent line, right? Which is, let's do it, <clears throat> for a. So we have y, so we line a okay tangent line a so y equals to 2x plus b point is 3 minus 2 so 3 minus 2 so minus 2 equals to 2 times 3 plus b and that gives you the value of b as equal to taking this 6 to the other side 
uh, which is minus 2 minus 6 which is minus 8 so we get our equation as y equals to 2x minus 8 do you see that <clears throat> so we got the first equation we'll follow the same thing to find slope for the tangent line at b so slope n at x equals to the value of x is 5 here so we'll substitute 5 here we'll get 2 times 5 minus 4 which is 10 minus 4 which is 6 so the equation is y equals to 6x plus b substitute 5 and 6 so 6 for this and 6 times 5 plus b that gives you the value of b as equal to so we'll take it from here as 6 minus 30 which is minus 24 and therefore the equation will be y equals to 6x minus 24 so this is for for line b <clears throat> so we're done these parts correct so i hope the steps are absolutely clear and you also understand how difference quotient method general form helps you to calculate very easily slope of tangent line at different points i'm anil kumar feel free to share and subscribe to my videos and if you like that'd be great thank you and all the best